Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Thanks for the great feedback in last video. So here's another episode. And this is especially for people still using Java. But again, I would like to recommend that you should migrate to Kotlin. In this video, we will learn how we can get the application context anywhere in our application. I guess you already know that context is required while coding the application in a lot of places. But if we are outside activity or fragment class, we make things complicated when context is required. So let's see this way of getting context anywhere in your project. So here I have the sample project and in this project for getting the context outside the activity or fragment class, I am going to use an application class. Now if you are not already aware of an application class, then don't worry, I will tell you of course. So in your project, you can have an application class and this class is used for maintaining global application state. So if you are using an instance of this class, you do not need to worry about memory leaks because the life cycle of this class is the life cycle of your whole application. So let's see how we can do this thing. So what I did is I created this class named my application. Of course, you can give it any name. But the point is you need to extend application to this class. And inside this class, I created an static instance of the same class. You can see we have private static my application and the name is instance. This is just a variable name. Now we need to override the onCreate function inside our my application class and when the application is created we will assign the instance value to this. So whenever your application is created this function is called and this function or this class is created before anything else in your application. So when your application is created you assign the instance. Now the life cycle of this instance is the whole life cycle of your application. Now I created a getter to get this instance. So we can directly access this get instance method to get the my application instance. After defining the application class, we need to define this application class inside our Android manifest.xml file. And to define the application class inside our Android manifest.xml, we use this Android name property. And here we define our application class. And this is very important or else the application class won't work. Basically, if you don't define your application class here, that class is not at all initialized. So this step is very important. Now our application class is ready and it is very useful. For example, we can create a utils class and inside this class, we can define some static functions or methods for toast, snack bar or alert dialogues. If you had seen my previous videos with Kotlin, then you may remember that I was creating some extension functions for displaying toast, snack bar or alert dialogues. And if we do like this, like if we create extension functions in Kotlin, then we just need to call the function whenever required and it decreases our code significantly. But extension functions are not possible in Java. So we can use this way. So here I have a function that is a static function and inside this function I am displaying the toast. Now again to display a toast we need the context and here we are getting the context using our main application class that is my application and we are calling the function get instance. Now we are just displaying the toast using message, the length and show. Now whenever we want to display a toast in our project, we can just call utils.toast and we can pass the string that we want to display in toast and it makes our life very easier. The same way we can create snack bar but to display snack bar we need view and the message. So we can put one more parameter here that is view 
and now whenever we need to display a snack bar we can call this function and we can display a snack bar and it will make our life very easy as you can see I did a sample calling to these functions so come back to main activity and here you can see on the click of button snack bar and button toast I am displaying a snack bar and I am displaying a toast so I think this is a better way of handling toast and snack bars in our application you can create many methods using the same way for example you can create alert dialogues the point is now you can access this my application in any of your classes as you can see this utils class is a normal class it is not an activity or fragment but still we can access the my application context here so this is what i wanted to tell you in this video i hope you found it helpful and if you did then please hit on that like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and if you have a better idea then please comment it below thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off